screenplay really works. Um, the characters really pop. These women knew what they were writing about. They lived through this war. Gellhorn was there on D-Day. Cowles interviewed Mussolini. These women lived in a press camp uh, on the Italian front. Uh, so they knew what they were writing about. These women were not playwrights, they were journalists, and they were really good journalists, but I think it's amazing how clear each character is, how distinct each character's voice is. The play's gotta be funny, it's gotta be fast. It's got to be delightful. So Sherry and I have just been joking about all the khaki and green that's been coming in in boxes. How they maintained looking so good under such horrible circumstances. But it is amazing to see the pictures of them looking really smashing on the front. I think what's really delightful about it is to figure out how to convey each person's individual character through the uniform that they're wearing and, and how does one individualize something that's uniform and meant to be uniform. Um, we kind of contrast the idea of the, the past romance of the, the world of Pogobamzi and particularly with the, the war itself. But yet, you know, like there is destruction, you know, we see, you know, there's the debris of the, the war out there. We are in this place that, that has been through so much and, uh, you know, has deteriorated. Naples wouldn't think of that. Eleven correspondents sleeping like sardines and they throw in a woman. Now, what sort of transportation do you have up here? Jeeps. Just cheeks. Yes, miss. I'm Leonard Lightfoot of International Information Agency. <laughs> the, the garrison, whose fate seemed yesterday very uncertain, is now well stocked with ammunition, food, and even blankets. Read the first sentence again. Okay. C-47s of the MAAF dropped parachuted supplies. I'll do. I'll do. All right. 